Hello, Kaplan. It's me, Tonic TZW. The Z52 has arrived in port this morning, so I took it out for a single game. This is going to be a little bit of a show and tell on Commander Build Inspirations and gameplay. So bear with me. It's going to be a long one. And um, yeah, I really think this ship is going to break destroyer play at legendary tier i think it's going to be the one that everybody is going to be playing from now on now i don't go for main builds and things like that i've put a pretty standard build on this just to see how it fares so we'll just quickly run through the modules slot one we've got aim and systems mod one for reduced dispersion slot two we've got propulsion mod two to get us up to speed quicker slot three obviously concealment because we are a destroyer and in slot four we're currently running main battery mod three to bring our reload down um the other options there we've got fire control system mod two and you've got the torpedo launchers which brings your torpedo reload down by 15 percent but the build that i'm going to be using in this video is eric bay um, his base trait is obviously um, reduced concealment. Then we run an observant rage for reduced reload. Second slot, we've got look at me now for again reduced detection. Third slot, we've got a twist and track just to um, mitigate the gun traverse. Fourth slot, a torpedo real just to give us some extra speed and torpedo damage. And then legendary skill is unstoppable. We'll get into that in the game. Inspirations wise, I'm running William Sims for the additional um, hit points and Jersey Swirsky just for concealment again. Other options you could use here is go for mortar and uh, get that increased gun damage. You could also run listen closely to give you some extra sonars and reduce the sonar cooldown time. You could run reaching out to give you further reduced reload as well. But there's so many options with this ship. It's unbelievable. Blue Ferrara, you've got torpedo speed. You could actually use her as a commander as well. We'll come on to that. Um, AP shell penetration with Anton Gurian. Henry Hyde to go up even more hit points and be super tanky. Eric Von Essen to reduce the ricochet angle of your shells. Sa Zhen Bing to reduce your um, ricochet angle again. Halsey, AP shells damage. You could become a cruiser hunter and killer. And then you've got Clara Teslau, who's going to give you traverse speed and rudership time, make you a little bit more agile. But let's get into this game. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the ship. Uh, we've got three double 128 millimeter guns, two turrets at the front, one at the rear. Um, this build that I'm running gives me a 3.3 second reload and a 10.8 kilometer range. Torpedo wise, you've got two quad launchers. And again, on this build, we've got 10.5k range at 71 knots with an 85 second reload that's not too shabby the torpedoes will do just over 15k damage each with this build if you were going to run um, blue ferrara um, as your captain and go for speed with her um, base trait and go for mosquito brutes to massively reduce your torpedo reload time um, that'll put your gun reload up to 3.55, so only 0.25 of a second, but it'll bring your torpedo reload down to 59.5 seconds as I've got her at the moment, um, but it brings the speed down to 69 knots and you're pretty much slashing your damage. I think it's a 40% reduction in damage um, to give you 8,640 per torpedo. German um, destroyers were one of the first lines that I invested into. I found them to be very, very flexible. Not quite as agile as the British ones, um, but these and the British are very much a Swiss army knife. Obviously, the meme in this ship or the meta in this ship is going to be this 5.9 kilometer radar. Radar, sonar, get your facts right, Tonic. Um, the destroyer opposite us is a Shimikaze and he would have spawned directly opposite us on Bravo Cap but he's obviously on Charlie Cap. He's probably motor boosted across there and gotten across there as quick as he could. 
Now I want to take this cap, make sure we've got one secure. We've got two crews in the battleship pushing a cap. But it looks like the majority of red team is stacked up on this corner. And it's um, state normal for legendary tier if you look. Um, we've got ships stacked behind an island. We've got ships hanging back. And then we've got some idiot who's charging in straight to the middle of the map in front of a crap ton load of big guns. Secondaries from that Schroeder. Um, we are now closer to the Shima than the um, ships that are on the cap. But having secured this cap, we're going to push across and see if we can use the sonar trick and get this shimmy lit up. So he pops a smoke, he's on sonar, he knows he's spotted, and I'm hoping that everybody is going to pile the pressure onto him. We're going to get on our guns and do what we can to hit him. But I slow down in my smoke, uh, not realizing that he was going away so quickly from us. But he dips out of sonar range. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get the, um, the party trick on the go there and get rid of that Shimikaze as quickly as we wanted to. There's a Schroeder out there. That's why I popped my smoke, because we got the Schroeder. We've got, what, one, two, three battleships there. We've got two cruisers. We've got the destroyer. Six out of nine ships um, from Red Team are on this cap that I can see. And those two cruisers are absolutely nasty and not something that I want to tangle with. But the um, battleship that's uh, pushing forward here, I don't know what it is, but he's already lost pretty much half his health. So I'm just going to try and stay undetected. And while he's getting the cap reset, hopefully I will pick up some capture points. Staying undetected on a cap, um, our sonar still running for another 45 seconds. So that Shima does try to uh, come back around. And there we go. We pick up his torpedoes from a blooming mile away. And that's going to give us plenty of opportunity to get out the way. The Schlieffen dies. He was probably on some mission to go for secondary hits and thought, the six ships there are going to get loads of secondary hits. Um, yeah, great. But you've just um, cost our team um, a battleship by getting absolutely pummeled out there the ship behind me he's um, heading away we got another ship parked still at the bottom end of bravo cap i'm just going to stay out of the way of these torpedoes it looks like um, two narrow one widespread um, so somebody's obviously fishing with their wall of skill and having taken this cap and got another solo cap out of it the second of the game we are now going to get out of the way because i imagine the shimikaze is going to try and push in now, if I still have my smoke screen available, um, would I have hung around here and uh, tried to get on this Shimikaze? Probably not, because the Schroeder Secondaries and the St. Louis, they could make mincemeat out of me in a very short space of time. So, we're going to push back across, stay undetected, um, keep these guys spotted and move away. Um, as I said, this is the first game in this ship so playing cautiously trying to figure out um, how i can use this ship to the best of my abilities i could fire and get some cap resets there but is it worth it no it's not i am worth much more alive than i am dead and i certainly don't want to mix with that saint louis and the schroeder Torpedoes are running on the Yamato. I think there's two Yamatos out there. Yep, two Yamatos. Um, can't remember what the third battleship is. Let's see if we pop it up. No, can't see it. Montana, I think it was. Uh, but we're going to push back across into the centre of the map and defend from B cap and see what we can do. We're going to pop some shots at the Schroeder now because we're going to dip out of sight behind this island. And this will give us some cap resets. But look at that. Eight and a half k's away and the secondaries are straight onto me the second I pull the trigger. But we get a triple cap reset and a fire. We've not done much in the way of damage. We're under 10k damage and we're almost getting to the halfway point of the game in a minute or so. But red team are starting to push because they realize that I'm no longer on that cap. They're pushing down the flank. There's one ship down there. The Yamatos are going to try and push through onto Bravo cap. And uh, I think about what I'm going to do with my torpedoes. Is he going to turn tight in the corner? Shima's obviously fishing again because he knows roughly where I was going. Um, but I'm not that 
dumb. I'm going to stay out of the way of those and see what we can do to defend this cap. Now I'd love to just drop my smoke screen right now and go onto this Yamato because he wants to have B cap. The guys across at A have secured that so we are just going to play safe and play sensible. Now I really think that this is going to become the meta for legendary tier destroyers. It outclasses everything. That sonar is um, is unbelievable if used correctly as a dd hunter with a fast reload with the extra hit points i don't think there's many destroyers that you aren't going to be able to take care of i like the fact that we've got two front firing guns as well um and not just uh, two on the rear it plays like a slightly less agile um daring not quite as rapid on the reload i don't think um with the build that i run with grotz my smart i haven't upgraded anything to um an epic mod or legendary mod yet but there's the shima we've got them on sonar again for two minutes it's our second sonar we could build with four sonars but it just goes to show how little this guy knows because he is popping his smoke screen and if he knew anything about the z52 it's that he was way way too close to me there Yamato pushing in, we're going to put some torps out there and then put a few just behind him just in case he starts slowing down and the other Yamato is pushing through on this gap. The possibility, a combination of different builds on this is going to make it a really interesting ship to play. You could build for massive tanky soaking damage um, cruiser killer you could build for range and um, just kite away we're going to put a fire on this yamato but you could build for range with ap penetration or ap damage as well and do a heck of a lot um, with that at legendary tier but we got a fire on that yummy and we're going to stop firing at him now try and turn out of those shots um, there we go what have we lost we lost about 3,000 hit points and and that's that it's not a lot we can't get onto that guy but this yami is going to get an absolute slap in there from our yamato at the back of the map how surprising to see a yamato at the back of the map eh but everybody that was on a cap is now starting to push across red team are kind of stuck there between b and c there's not really a lot they can do there's only two ships left we're on 74,000 damage we've got one kill I'm not a CC I don't get early access to these ships like they do and I certainly don't have the time to sit down and play let's say for five six seven eight hours straight to give you you know a high caliber confederate kraken five dev strikes and whatever in a showcase game what i try to do is get a game in it see how i feel about this ship and then give you my opinion but like i said there are so many different options for builds captains and inspirations on this ship i really do think it is going to be the new meta at legendary tier for destroyers um, as much as i love my daring the fact that this has got a sonar that is almost well not quite double the range of the daring you're going to be stuffed because with the amount of sort of 12k secondaries out there and he spamming radar cruisers if you bump a z52 and he pops his sonar and smoke um, you're not going to get away from it it reminds me very much of the z35 premium tier 6 german destroyer when that one first came out people didn't have a clue what to do when they were within that five kilometer sonar range you would literally run something down i think i got 4.9 kilometer um, detection on my z35 my sonar's 5k so literally as soon as i was spotted i would hit my smoke i'd hit my sonar chances are that ship is still coming straight towards you they're going to turn and give you a broadside to get torpedoes off 
and um, while they do that you just mow them down with your guns um, is it going to be a better Shimakaze hunter than the Daring? I don't know because it's not quite as agile. You could put um, the rudder shift in there on one of the mod slots instead of the um, engine boost. Um, sorry, not the engine boost, the engine power to give you a 50% acceleration to top speed. Um, but is it is it worth it? Because if you out turn your turrets you're not going to be getting your guns on and I think that's where the daring would have the edge in agility reload and gun traverse but this thing from the first game playing quite cautiously um, we're going to take a third solo cap here um, uh, look at that we got six cap resets as well and I was actually in a party chat talking with my buddies here saying I'm playing this one game and then I'm heading off I'm going to get this showcase video online and uh, let people know what I think and then I've got to get away so when you consider the amount of damage that you know the damage potential that was out there with two Yamantos you know there was what four or five battleships a couple of cruisers and a destroyer there was a lot of hit points out there to be had but the Shimikaze first thing he did was get away from the cap that he spawned on because there's a high chance he knew that I was going to go straight there when he did get bumped he pulled back that led us to secure a second cap red team stacked up they didn't want to push um if i hadn't have fired at that schroeder they probably wouldn't have known where i was and probably still wouldn't have wanted to push down so i was just checking uh, my main battery range there because i'm running this guy down and i decided that I want to have a go with some armor piercing and see how we do against this guy here I'd love to get in a position where I could rain some AP down on the superstructure of some battleships and just see how healthy the chunks are that we can take off it. Um, I don't have the Elbing. I know the Elbing um, does some pretty severe AP damage and can be built to do even more. But we're going to give our spot away here because he's in a decent amount of range. We're going to adjust the guns. They're not quite as floaty as the Z35, but we're going to drop here another kill on that cruiser there thank you for giving us a broadside so 80,000 damage two kills three solo caps six cap resets and a mixture of other flags and i was mighty surprised to see that in the first game that i played in this ship i managed to break through 3,000 base xp that obviously comes from the caps and spotting and if you don't believe me there you go one game played one victory there's the damage there's the ships killed there's the base xp score so i really do hope that you've um, enjoyed putting up with my drone talking through this that i've given you an indication as to what i think of the z52 and how it might be played and all the options that you've got available to you um so smash that like button leave me a comment let me know um, if you've got it already and what you think of it um or whether or not you're just going to leave it on the side until next time take care goodbye